there is an old saying, it is better to journey hopefully than to arrive. It's better to journey hopefully than to arrive. I'm not disputing that. But when we journey hopefully, we're still wanting. Hope is wanting. And wanting is never complete satisfaction. How can we get complete satisfaction? Look back in moments of our life when we were completely absorbed in doing something we were enjoying, particularly if it was some sort of service, maybe at work, in which we knew we could do it really well and provide this service joyfully, cheerfully, completely in the moment. How do we get this? We don't get it by forming goals. Goals means we haven't got it yet. Ideas that come into our mind, which can be actually achieved by setting up a goal, still puts us in this business of wanting, wanting to get there. However, if we don't pick out an idea, but rather define an ideal, the ideal person we want to be, that puts a different slant on it. Ideals can never be reached, but ideals put us into the journey. We enjoy the journey. It's not a goal to be achieved, it's a direction in which to proceed. There's a lot of emphasis today put on smart goals and so forth. I've, put, I've undertaken smart goals and when I've achieved them, I thought, well, so what? I've gained a little. I've improved a little. But the satisfaction isn't there for long. Once again, you're searching for more goals, more expansion, more extension. Not really enjoying the journey as much. Marking off points along the goal, yes. Temporary, a temporary, wow, I got that. Quickly forgotten. But if we form an ideal of the sort of person we want to be, the type of service we'd like to provide, in something we know we can do well, then, of course, that's a different matter. I look over my own life and I can think of certain aspects way back when I knew I could do the job well. And I'd sit down, and even before I started, I would feel good about it. Good about it. Knowing that as I proceeded with my work that day, I'd be totally involved, it would be interesting, and I would be providing a service. I didn't realise at that time that that came from an ideal. It didn't. I didn't have an ideal. I thought, well, what's life all about? Well, I didn't even think that. That came later on in life. What's life all about? Once that starts, a sort of a dissatisfaction can begin. Unless we have an ideal defined in our minds as to the type of person we want to become over our lifetime. That's an ideal. It can never be reached, but it gives us involvement, pleasant involvement in the now. The only moment any of us really have.